not a crook. Welcome to Law Bite. The following is for entertainment purposes only. It is not legal advice, not even close. And now for the very finest in idiotic legal news and commentary. This is Law Bite. Yeah, you heard right at the White House press conference the other day when President Trump suggested that blasting the body with UV light or possibly injecting it with disinfectant uh, might work in order to kill the coronavirus. You know, this reminds me of when I lined up my three-year-old and my five-year-old the other day and I said, okay, girls, uh, it's time for your daily Lysol injections. And my girl said, dad, I don't feel so good. And I said, now, now you heard what the president said. It also reminded me of that song that goes, Clorox is for countertops and not for human veins. Uh, So why do I mention this? Well, at some point earlier in this whole saga, uh, you might remember the president was talking about reopening the economy, at which point he mentioned that he thought he had total authority over the states to do so because he's the president and, quote, that's the way it's going to be. Now, several legal scholars weighed in on the president's statement And their response was, uh, no. Now, the reason for this is that the country was built on respecting the sovereignty of the states. In other words, the states have plenary powers, meaning that there's a very specific list of what the federal government can do called the Constitution, and everything else is up to the states. Now, that's a good thing, because I would be very concerned if a guy who thinks injecting Lysol into your veins is a good idea should have authority over anything, much less the state I live in and everything else I do. So rest easy for the moment, Uh, keep your cleaning supplies locked up in a cabinet, and keep your fingers crossed that the Constitution is still good. Until next time, this is Law Bite. See you then.